हैं ना हाँ आए कर लो वेलकम सेकंड इन माय सेकंड क्लास अपर स्पेशली स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ एंड एट्थ स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ और एट्थ सब्जेक्ट ज्योग्राफी एंड चैप्टर इज दैट रिसोर्स एंड इट्स डेवलपमेंट already you understood that resources are found in each and every city every village every country every nation also so all the nations all the areas are full of the resources resources means the <coughs> resources is very important substances in our life if we if we utilize resources in better way then we face a better life on the other hand if we can't use these resources very efficiently in this condition we become back our life become extremely backwarded so resources is very very essential for development of the country development of the society also first of all resources the term resources is derived from latin word re and sources re means which which used again and again and sources means the sources means the substances the materials the goods goods which are used for for uh, well being of human societies so in this way means the goods or substances which are which are used again and again by human societies that is considered as the resource it is the <coughs> it is the primary definition of the resources but resources is in newer sense sense resources have other meaning in <clears throat> in modern scenario resources is all the substances which are found in our surroundings and which are used by human societies means first things that are found naturally in our societies in our surroundings in our environment second thing is that the assets the substances the goods which have which are able to fulfill fulfillment of human needs or requirement if any substances that are found in our surroundings that are found in our environment and it are able to utilize the human requirement then that condition they may considered as resources no doubt if they are not consider they are not able to fulfill human needs or requirement then that condition this become not a uh, resources so first things is that it is uh, the first criteria of the resources is that the fulfillment of human needs and requirement if it fulfill the human's needs or requirement then it is resources if they are unable to fulfill the human needs or requirement they are not considered not termed as the resources so and this is the primary criteria for the resources on the other end the other criteria is also means resources which are used by human society which are used by human that may be resources no doubt but they should be economically feasible also they should be economically feasible they should be culturally acceptable and they should be technologically accessible if if these criteria fulfill the fulfill the substances 
for uh, for well being of human uh, society humans then that condition it uh, it is able to fulfill the all the requirements of humans so it considered as the resources okay our country india full of resources means air which fulfill our need water also fulfill our need and soil which also fulfill our needs buildings schools colleges universities plants animal beings all of these assets or goods which are found in our society and these are able to fulfill our needs or requirement then that condition they may termed as resources technologically accessible culturally acceptable and economically feasible these three criteria are not in, um, required for the a student of standard 8 but a standard 10 all of these criteria all of these criteria are must <clears throat> so resources and now we should consider as the classification of resources if we classify the resources then they, we should consider on different basis generally resources are categorized by two categories natural resources and human resources natural resources are those resources which are made by nature or natural process which are made by nature or by natural process these are considered as natural resources like air water soil these are made by the made by nature and these are considered as the natural resources the human resources human resources are those resources which are full which are created by human human being like buildings universities garden road etc all of these are created by human being so these are considered as human resources on the <coughs> this this classification of resources for standard 8 natural resources natural resources are also categorized subdivided by two categories renewable resources and non renewable resources Renew, uh, renewable resources are those resources which are renewed by renewed by physical chemical and other process by the nature so these are the renewable resources like air water if they are uh, utilized by the human society automatically they are fulfilled by nature so <coughs> they are renewed by nature reproduced by nature so these are considered as the renewable resources non renewable resources those resources which are <coughs> if these resources minimized or finished after that this resources may uh, taken millions of years billions of years for their formation so uh, it means non renewable resources are take take a long period of time for their formation renewable resources are also cut, um, uh, subdivided by continuous resources and bio biological resources continuous resources like wind and water wind and water and these are continuously made or flown in our surrounding so these are considered as the continuous resources on the other hand biological resources are those resources which are have a life which are made by life uh, being life cells like forest and human beings and all animal beings these wild uh, biological resources are also subcategorized by two uh, categories natural uh, natural and wild life natural means vegetation and wild life means the animal beings that are found in the forest the trees and plant beings that are automatically automatically grown uh, without any help or aid by human beings they are considered as the wild life so these are the uh, natural Uh, component natural classification natural division of the resources 
and now human resources human resources are also categorized by a structure uh, a structure and institutions and these structure and institutions created by the human beings so it is considered as uh, human resources the other divisions of quantity and quality means the quality and quantity of resources that are found in any region means what quantities are found in a region and what uh, what was the what is the quality of the resources that are found in described region so these are considered as the <coughs> human resources okay so these uh, okay, um, this classification uh, is uh, completely belong to a standard 8 and now we are going to uh, we are going to uh, the uh, resources and classification of the standard 10th standard 10th for standard 10th resources classification have some many uh, some other um, basis some many uh, other basis like the origin already you understood that i uh, mean uh, all the substances all the matters all the materials all the goods which are made by which are made by human beings uh, which are made by nature and which are found in surrounding our surroundings our environment and which are able to fulfill humans need or requirement and which should and which should be economically feasible which should be technologically accessible and which should be which should be uh, culturally acceptable so the in this term these are considered as the resources technologically accessible means uh, human beings have such type of technology and through that technology human beings um, uh, estimated the minerals estimated the resources and and these are uh, considered as the resources and on the other hand the <coughs> economically feasible economically feasible means uh, the cost of the resources which should be under affordability of the human if uh, suppose in a, suppose this chalk if the price of this chalk is 1 rupees or 2 rupees 